Hi everyone. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'm glad you're here. You're going to all enjoy this impromptu video. I wasn't planning on doing a video on this house that you're looking at. Uh, I'll explain exactly what it is as I get into some details here. The details will be light. I might not give you pictures like I typically do and show you where to go buy things. I'll just describe them. I would like to keep the video short because I have an epic Halloween costume video coming. And after that, I have a Halloween party coming. And I need to focus on tightening up those videos and doing a little bit more editing. Okay, enough of explaining. I think you got the gist of what I'm attempting to say here. <clears throat> if you have any questions and I brush over something or I don't give enough of details, and maybe I don't have the details, but anyway, if there's something you'd like to know more about, leave a comment and let me know and I will definitely respond to you. So moving on. I created this partial house for the sole purposes of the trick-or-treating video that's coming. My goal was to create a realistic front of a house so that when the dolls went trick-or-treating, you could see their costumes and really get into the whole scene of everything. I enjoy other videos that just show the dolls and their costumes and maybe the backgrounds of the dollhouse or whatever else is in the background. But for me, this is the scene that I was looking for. I think it's very different. It's unusual. Uh, it was a lot of fun making it. About 90% of the items I used, I had around my house. I had to pick up a few things, but I believe the total investment was somewhere around $20, $25. And to me, that was totally worth it and made my vision a reality. Now let's get into the details of how I did this. I started with this section of the Our Generation School. I only needed this one side that had the door. Obviously the door is very important because the trick-or-treaters need to go to the door to get their candy. And then I attached foam board that I had around the house to give this piece height, which is why you could see all the tape. Then I attached another larger piece of foam board to the other side of the door to give it the pitched roof look. I'll be honest, I didn't have a detailed plan going into this. I just went with my gut and my ideas and as thoughts came to me, I constructed this. So I just want you to know that I really didn't put a tremendous amount of thought into this. I had to redo things along the way and I didn't take a lot of pictures because I didn't intend to make a video about it. So I'll just have to talk through some of the pictures of the finished product and help you get a good sense of how I put this together. The structure is 38 inches in height and 28 and a half inches wide. I needed to add dimension because I intended to put a window in the front of the house and put a doll in the window and a candle in the upstairs round window. This is the section of the house that I'm showing you right now that has the pitch roof and the side that's in the right picture is about two inches wide. Now let's focus on a couple of other things. The green arrow on the top here is that round window I talked about and I had a piece of film around the house. It's clear film, looks like stained glass and I just put that in the window. With my utility knife, I cut open a section right behind the window area so that I could put a shelf in there. Here's what the inside looks like. It's just basically a piece of foam board supported by another piece of foam board on an angle glued to the inside. And that's what the candle's sitting on. Now let's talk about this window. It's actually two windows that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and they were $3.99 each and I glued them together and I cut a hole in the foam board and just glued it in there. The lace curtains just happened to be some fabric I had around the house and created curtains and painted around the edges black. So it was a pretty simple project. Also notice that I cut a section out in the back so I could access the inside window area because I taped a doll up in the window. 
Now let's go back to this section here circled in blue which looks like a graveyard but it's really a flower box or at least that's what I think it should be under a window and I'm going to switch up the scene eventually and put something else in there. I purchased this little wooden box at a local store called Amazing Savings for three bucks. I picked up a few of them and when I bought it I had a different idea in my mind but when I was building this little scene I knew that one of these boxes would be perfect for the flower box. I use contact paper to cover the front of the black foam board so I'm sure you could pick up a roll of that at a local store. I honestly don't remember where I got it. I've had it for a pretty long time. Moving on, what else do I need to tell you? Okay, the two areas where you could see the pitch roof there. So what I did is I cut out the triangles out of the foam board and then I added the sides and then I glued it to the back of the foam board. Now let's talk about the two roof areas. I picked up a bag of shingles in the doll house section in Hobby Lobby for about five bucks. I used hot glue to attach them and then I painted them with gray acrylic paint. Now let's talk about the fence. The fence didn't come like this. It's actually four pieces that came in a package from Hobby Lobby. I think it was about five dollars or less possibly. And what I did, and if you look in the middle of the picture, you can see where I overlapped two of the pieces and just glued it together. And ta-da, we have a fence. I think it turned out nice. What do you think? Let's talk about these two columns, I guess I'll call them, holding up the awning over the door. Actually, I didn't need these columns to hold up the awning or mini roof or whatever you want to call it over the door area. I wanted it added because it just seemed to add a better effect. So basically what this is is these two pieces of wood I found at the craft store and I trimmed them to the size that I needed and painted them black. Talk about the little lantern by the door. I found this one and a couple of other designs I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It actually has a light inside and it's really cute. And I basically just glued it to the roof. So super simple. It lights up. It looks really cute. Here's the glue area. Doesn't look so great if you look at it from the top, but it works. Last thing I want to tell you about is this little decoration I came up with and attached to the door. It's basically a piece of driftwood with a mini skeleton that I picked up at the dollar store and I chopped it up and attached it with some string. So really not too much to it and pretty easy to make. I think I covered everything, but if there's something that I missed and you want to know more about it, drop a comment below and let me know and I will get back to you. Many of the items you see in the front yard are items I've either had for quite some time and honestly don't remember where I got them, or items I recently picked up at the dollar store. And here's Grandma, ready for the trick-or-treaters with two buckets of candy. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps my channel grow. And also leave a comment if there's anything you want to ask or you, anything you liked about this video. I would really be interested to get your feedback. The next video I'll be posting is a Halloween costume video. And then the, after that, I have a Halloween party video coming. Both of these videos will be coming out in the next week, just in time for Halloween. Just want to remind you to make sure you're subscribed to my channel and press that notification button so you get an alert when new content comes out. And here's a few video thumbnails that you might be interested in. I included a link to these three videos in the description below and I also included a link to my Etsy shop in the event you're interested in checking things out. I have many, many items that might be of interest to you. Pretty cool stuff. Most of the things I create are not the types of items you'll find in other Etsy shops, so please give it a look. Take care of yourself, and remember, AGTV for life.